Excuse me, Sam. What? How are you today? Since when do you care? 1207 yesterday. In light of the fact that we're both human beings and have a genetic interest in each other's prosperity, you may use my dorm room to study. Wait, are you serious? That would be amazing. Good. And does that make you feel more positive about me, less positive, or neutral? Um, more, I guess. Excellent. Dr. Sturgis may have been on to something. It did feel nice to be liked. I'm not as nice as knowing you're the smartest boy in Texas, but what was? Hey, did I just hear you say you have a dorm room you're letting people use? Yes, I'm letting Sam use it to study. You think there's any chance my girlfriend and I could use it sometime? You two study together? We'd like to. It's been a while. Well, I use it during the day, so it's only available at night. Nice work for us. Then it's all yours. <laughs> Thanks, man. And how does this make you feel about me? More positive, less positive, or neutral? Really, really positive. Great. Tell a friend. All right. <laughs> I might have to draw up a schedule. Over the next several days, my social experiment was providing clear-cut data about the benefits of being well-liked. Hey, Sheldon. Would you like these? Thank you. It's the best watery chocolate milk on the market. Thank you for letting me use your room. I suppose it was like the old saying, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, which I actually have issues with. Why is your back itchy? A rash? Chicken pox? Scabies? Scratch your own back. It turns out it's easy to make people like you. You just have to give them things. Wow, I think you've really discovered something here. Perhaps I should publish before someone else stumbles onto it. Oh, hey. An all-nighter, huh? Oh, yeah. All night. Thank you. Someone's gonna ace those midterms. Yeah, you know it! My room has become quite the little study hall. Yeah, they may not be... Uh, you know what, you're fine. Hello? Sheldon, it's for you. Who is it? Who is it? Travis. Who's Travis? Who are you? A friend of Sheldon's? Really? Really? Hi, Travis. Oh, Monday's no good. I can pencil you in for Wednesday. You got it. Goodbye. Is that a friend from school? I suppose. Well, that's exciting. And a little exhausting. I've been letting students use my dorm to study while I'm not there, and it's made me very popular. It's nice that you're helping people out. Yes, but who knew having friends involved so much scheduling? Sheldon, some girl for you. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Well, if you and Ben really need the room on Wednesday, you're going to have to work it out with Travis and Amy because they asked first. He's getting popular. I think I might know why those kids want to use his room. Well, he's up for studying. They ain't studying. Oh, no, it makes sense. You really think they're... A bunch of college kids in an empty dorm room? <gasps> Should we tell them? I don't want to tell them, do you? I'll tell them. No. Okay, hang on. Now she volunteered. No. Shelly, you busy? I'm turning my dorm room schedule into a spreadsheet so people can sign up at school and stop calling me. Yeah, about that. George? Your mother and I are worried that your friends at school might be taking advantage of you. What do you mean? Well, they might not be using it in the, the spirit that you intended. How are they using it? Mary? Worried that those couples are not going there to study. But that's why I'm lending them the room. And that is why we are concerned. Are you saying they're using it as a goof off room? Yes. Uh, that's exactly what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, let's drive over there right now and catch them in the act. Uh, no, let's just let them finish goofing off tonight and we'll put a stop to it tomorrow. Well, thank you for telling me. We thought that you should know. Mm. Those dirty goof-offs.